part of the Weiss team for a long time. He moved out to San Diego because he graduated from college and he right. found a really solid job out here. Cool, that's awesome. It looks yeah, like because we, we were talking about like uh, Matt Hazmat was saying, yo, they probably played a couple of them a, a, a bunch of times. I'm like, well, like where Korean lives here in SoCal is like not that close to where IDK oh, lives see, in SoCal. And then Void came up and he was like, they're both from Hawaii. Oh yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. And this is a button check, so nothing too interesting there. Except the music, let's yeah, go. Yeah, the music's always <laughs> good. Pokemon, Pokemon music. music. Oh man, you can't. Yo, uh, legalize Pokemon Stadium too in oh. in uh, eight player Smash mode. Take what do you think about that? I want like as much as I hate Lilat, it just sucks that how much time it would take. Yeah. So like in a top eight, if like, cause it you automatically run the minute timer. So every time you go to po Poke Stadium, right. it's a minute, and then plus what plus however the long setup. it takes you to set up, which right. could be like, um, thirty seconds if you're fast, right? Like right, right. So it's like I mean top eights could potentially run maybe like, fifteen to thirty minutes longer, yeah. which I mean. I know some top eights are like they already start all behind schedule, and then on top of that, so w yeah. you kind of it, it'll kind of be up to the tos. I feel, but I mean, I don't like Lilat, so let's go Poke Stadium. Yeah, so and I, I love the platform layout of Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, it's great. I actually did use that setup once. Uh, me and DJ Gentleman to that stage. Wow, the pivot jabs oh. into the grab. So much damage coming out from IDK. <gasps> oh my God! Tried to just end this man's life right then and there. And I know for a fact IDK. I talked to him a lot, and he is very confident against Fire Emblem characters. Yeah. He, in fact, he said he can't wait for Fire Emblem Saga because oh he boy. wants to body all the Fire Emblem characters. And I'm not surprised actually, because all of the uh, Fire Emblem characters are pretty much like similar height and, and uh, weight, so they're they're gonna die pretty easily to oh, here. It is, it is? no, not no. enough. I feel like he didn't get the super yeah. strong part hitbox of up. Oh, yeah, this is the, oh my oh, god. Okay, well, chucked him into the side of the stage. And only 60% to show for it. Vox now on his last stock of this first game. Yeah, it can be so difficult because Fire Emblem characters, they want to, you know, usually they have like some sort of disjoint they want to space you out with. But DK has very long range with his tilts, intangible hands, so they're pretty much swords. And this, the, the ding dong percentages for all the Fire Emblem characters are so good for Donkey Kong. Yes. Here we go. All right, Vox, though, looking a little bit strong on his last stock. Ooh, IDK with the uh, turnaround drop. Oh my god, it? dude! <laughs> that almost killed him. <laughs> yeah. Wow! IDK is showing oh. us all the cool stuff you can do with Donkey Kong. Oh Beautiful god. stall and the recovery there. Yeah, 125%. This grab down throws shouldn't be enough. No, not what, quite. You know what sucks? Too? It's like, man, what do I? Oh, oh man! And he gets the pin. I was just about to say, like, what do you get when you grab DK compared to what he gets? But. You know, Vox showing like, hey, I can grab DK, throw him off, and get that, get this pin. There it is. Yeah, he walked forward a little bit with that one. I wonder what the reason there was. You know, that, that the walk forward could have potentially given Vox just a little bit more time to mash out of the grab. But, you know. I know. I see Konga do it, and I feel like it might be something to make it so the execution is more clean on their part, or maybe like a DI mix-up. I don't know. Because I've seen like Konga like walk and then like turn around and do it, which is like weird. I mean, you, yeah, yeah. you essentially you still give your opponent a lot of time to react, but yeah. and like Ding Dong, it's pretty easy to react to like which way they DI. So yeah, it's it's uh it's interesting though. I feel like a lot of people aren't mashing as much as they should to yeah. try to get like out of grass. They just accept their Yeah, fate. they just kind of accept <laughs> You got it, it man. <laughs> it's you like, all right, you got the grab. You can, you you can walk right. it out if you want to, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so game two going to final destination. Let's see if Vox can uh, turn it up a little bit here. He opens up 17% off a of grab. Uh-oh. And just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, oh DK boy. gets his up smash. Double back air, 69%. Oh and the edge guard. Oh, my, oh my goodness. God. IDK right. trying to get on a combo reel right now. <laughs> there's, there's that confidence you were talking about. He finds another cargo up throw up air. Still not enough to kill. I think at this point he's probably outside of the range to get killed by that. He's going to find a different kill. Oh, my God. So he right did the turnaround, yeah. as you mentioned. Yeah. So right there, um, IDK, he, he just as you mentioned, the uh, he was out of the range. So I, at, when you're right outside of Ding Dong range, you can still do the grounded cargo right, up throw, and yeah. it's a 50-50. They're either going to air dodge or they're going to jump. If they jump, you can catch them with the up air. So right there, Vox playing the 50-50 really well, and this is the spot you want to be at against DK, <laughs> uh, like weirdly enough. <laughs> like you'd rather be at like yeah. 130 rather than like 60. Yep. <laughs> but then DK. it's always interesting because they, if they... If you take their stock and they lose their rage, the the numbers kind of reset. Back throw should be enough. Yes, yeah. 73 on IDK now. 
Yeah, but it is also really scary too because Donkey Kong's offstage game is so strong. Back air, and then even when he's getting back onto the stage with up he can hit you with the hard part and send you even flying farther. It's really, really good at There we go. Box with the potential chance for an edge guard. He finds the pin. That weak hit, not enough. He needs to keep this going though. It, keeping DK on the ledge is so essential to, like, this, this is, that's where Donkey Kong really suffers. When Donkey Kong or most grapplers are in disadvantage, you can really like take advantage of that. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. But <laughs> IDK just again. doesn't care right now. Oh, he really does not. The bike should, should do it. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, like, dude, that I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> come on, man. Give us a break. <laughs> Poor Vox out here, but, man. But you can see with Vox is now at 73%, no rage on DK. He finds oh, the grab, man, and he has a gun. After that down tilt, you know exactly what he wanted. And yep. it was so funny because you saw Vox running away. He's like, no, man, get away.